Russia has extended an offer to India for the deployment of its advanced floating nuclear power plant technology. After the 27,000 crore rupees semiconductor project, the Assam government is now looking for setting up a defense industrial corridor in the state. Tato Advanced Systems Limited has announced that it has delivered over 200,000 bulletproof jackets to the Indian Armed Forces and Paramilitary Forces. The RDO chairman has inaugurated a R&D center at the Defense Research Laboratory in Tawang District. The RDO's Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory has developed lightweight Stenag Level 3 add-on composite armor for the WAP 8x8 vehicle. The Philippines and Sweden have signed a key agreement to support Philippines' planned acquisition of multi-role fighter jets for the Philippine Air Force. The Indian government has extended the term of Dr. Samir Kamath as the chairman of the RDO for one more year. India's Ibu Intelligent Systems has set a new Guinness World Record for 3 hours 13 minutes 14 seconds longest endurance electric powered flight under 5 kilograms drone. Foreign media has reported that Lockheed Martin is likely to provide a co-technology collaboration for India's AMCA fifth-generation fighter jet. Lockheed Martin could collaborate with Indian engineers on cockpit design, understanding of fifth-generation cockpit technology, man-machine interface systems, and even the automatic ground collision avoidance system, and this partnership is about distributing expertise and insights to elevate India's military aerospace industry to unmatched levels. Experts have said that a shared journey with Lockheed Martin could indeed be invaluable for the Indian industry, and knowledge transfer and technology sharing within the AMCA program could expedite its progress, potentially leading to the creation of an advanced fighter jet that is unparalleled in technology. Officials have said that unlike the fixed ACE radar featured in the Tejas Mark 1A, the Tejas Mark 2 will get the indigenous upgraded UTAM radar mounted on a rotating repositioner or swashplate that provides enhanced battlefield awareness and operational versatility. The rotating repositioner allows the radar to move left or right, offering a 140 degree search volume within a 200 degree look angle and this flexibility significantly enhances the pilot's situational awareness, providing a broader view of the battlefield, as it will give the ability to cover a larger area without having to maneuver the aircraft, translating to better detection and tracking of multiple targets in the air land or at sea. Tejas Mark II pilots can maintain a tactical advantage by keeping the radar pointed towards potential threats, while performing evasive maneuvers or engaging other targets. India's Ulu Defence Systems has successfully developed Hover B Portable Reconnaissance System that can be launched and recovered using just the palm of the hand, making it ideal for swift deployment in critical situations. Potential applications for Hover C include building interventions, where it can be used to scout environments before manned entry, and rapid situational awareness, providing real-time visual data to soldiers on the ground. India and Kazakhstan have engaged in constructive talks focusing on enhancing defense collaboration procurement and capability building. A notable highlight of the discussions was the proposal put forth by India to offer its Sastra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile and Rudram 1 anti-radiation missile to the Khazar Care Defense Force, which operates a fleet of Su-27, Su-30 and MiG-29 aircraft which have already been successfully integrated into Indian-operated Su-30 fighter jets. Today's Top 3 Comments